Ah, cool. Looks like we're on. Hey, uh, YouTube, how's it going? This is Red Cell Gorilla. And, yeah, just want to say hi. Now, I am a real, live human being. I'm not that fat, I promise. This is just, you know, whatever cool guy shit in there. And, uh, for all you fuds out there, oh, he's wearing the American flag upside down. Uh, you know, boats flip the flag upside down whenever they're in duress. And, uh, I think, honest to God, our American nation is, is under duress. Uh, well, let's get right down to brass tacks real quick. And uh, for those who, who want to know what the gear is, this is a uh, not uh, T-Rex Arms. Super cool little uh, skinny rig that they have. Uh, sorry, Lucas, your, your old stuff is too expensive for me. This is a Chinese knockoff, and it works. All right, I think I got this for like 45 bucks instead of $190. And I wish I had the $190 to go ahead and give that to an American uh, company, but the Chinese did okay. And I'm not a big fan of the Chinese, but they did okay. And it was 45 bucks, and it fits on my shit. All the exact same shit. And it looks exactly the same. Go sue them. Right? Go sue them. Cool beans. All right, so today I wanted to talk about red cell ideology and I, why I think red cell is necessary at this time. Uh, just look around, man. I mean, you can't afford food. The taxes that are coming directly out of your paycheck are going straight to uh, probably not the best things. I mean, we're, we're straight up just given the money that we are working really hard for, you know, to attempt to sustain ourselves instead of it going to our food or our homes or, or our, our equipment or even our own educations or our children's educations. That stuff is going straight out to another nation. Why? Because because the TV told us that it had to go over there, right, some other other place. Um, but yeah, let's get down into ideology. But personally, I'm a, an anarchist at my core and anarchy doesn't mean, oh, hey, let's go be violent everywhere. Um, an anarchy is, is literally without rulers, without a leader, right? I don't feel that I need somebody else in charge of me to tell me what to do, to tell me how to live. Because I, I just don't think that that's necessary, especially especially in a post-internet world where if I want to know how to do something, I can just go look it up on YouTube or I can go to the library. I mean, thank God for libraries. Uh, or I can just go to the library and be like, hey, you know what? How am I going to make wind power for my own house? Because I don't need to do that on a very large scale where it's going to waste a ton of resources. And that massive windmill is never going to net zero, right? It, yeah, it makes electricity, but all the power, all the materials, all the, uh, oil, fuel, everything that went into making that, it would have to work for the next hundred years. And those things have like a 30 year lifespan or something, right? So, so doing something like that, sure. Small scale, I think it'll work, but, uh, large scale that is not going to replace gas or nuclear power for the power grid out here. All right. So, uh, going back to being the anarchist at my core. Yeah, that's fine. And I, I totally get it. Anarchy is just like communism. It doesn't work. So I can submit to a very limited constitutional Republic, which is what the United States started out as and is no longer that constitutional Republic. Uh, and again, I think we've evolved past the need for a, a powerful government at uh, at a higher level. Um, all these folks are, are communist or socialist or think they are, and they're oh, you know, capitalism doesn't work or a free market society is never going to work. You've never lived in a free market society. You've lived in a socialist nation since 1913, right? And uh, the we've been spreading the wealth from the rich to the poor, really rather from the middle class of folks who work to the poor who may not be able to work or just don't, right? Since 1913, so over a hundred years, right? And I say that because that's when the federal income tax became a thing. And I think that income tax is partially to blame for the Great Depression in the 20s and 30s, partially, right? I know that a lot of environmental stuff happened at the time. And then, um, and then in the seventies, right? The U.S. dollar used to be backed 
by gold, but in 1971, it, since 1971, it's only been backed by faith, right? That we allow it to, to exist. And, you know, we as regular everyday human beings are being robbed by computer programs, right? And what I mean to say by that is the bank, the bank doesn't have to have money to quote unquote lend you money, right? A bank, whenever you're like, hey, I've got to go buy this house for $100,000 or $500,000. If the bank doesn't actually have that money, they just say, hey, we create a loan for $100,000, right? That money didn't come from anywhere. They didn't say, hey, we can't, we can't do that because we don't have any money, right? They're not being, uh, they're not being responsible with that. They're just saying, hey, look, the loan was one zero 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 zero, right? And we're going to get 15% of that back, or we're going to get 3% of that back over a 30 year period. That's, a, that's you know that's a very long time. You're you're literally just being robbed by some dude behind a computer who goes, "Hey, look, this is how much the loan was." Doesn't matter that the money was actually there or not, and you know he's going to have to pay us back in his hard work hours, hard earned hours, right? And you're just working your life away for something that you may or may not even ever be able to keep. All right, so let's let's take it back to red cell stuff because uh, banks are part of the white cell system, right? Can red cell win? Our very short answer is yes. All right. It, it's going to take forever, probably about 20 years, and it's going to have to start at your city and county levels, right? You're going to have to have a clear end state for what you want to do after you get rid of the system that you're trying to get rid of, right? You need a clear end state because uh, there can't be a, a power vacuum. Nature abhors it, right? So if you're not running things and you don't want the guys who are already running things to be running things, then somebody else is going to come in and run it for you. Probably some drug dealers that have guns and aren't obeying the law anyway, right? So don't just go off the handle and start destroying systems that are already in place if those are systems that you can fix or abide by at a certain level, right? Uh Again, back on this channel, we're going to go over some books, the uh, main books that I want you guys to look at, own probably. A good idea to have them, a large one that you can actually read, not that teeny tiny handbook version. But uh, ATTP 3-21.8, that's Infantry, Rifle, Platoon, and Squad, right? And then ATTP 3-21.10, the Infantry Rifle Company, right? ATTP 3-21.76, the Ranger Handbook, and FM 102.2, which is the military symbols and terms. And I, I say that because that way we can all be on the same page. I mean, the, the FM 102.2 is, I think, the same across all, uh, it's the same across all services because that's how we speak our common, common language. Right. Uh, and then ADP 1-02, which is the exact same thing. I only say that because this is the older version of the, the new FM. And that is because they have gotten rid of some of the terms and gotten rid of some of the uh, glossary definitions, the military definitions. And I think that that's partially because these are open books. These are books open to the public. You're allowed to have any of these. Um and because you're allowed to have any of these, you can go look them up, uh, just Google them, or you can go to U.S. Army Pubs Directorate, right? Just Google U.S. Army Pubs, and you can get these, download them for free, right? You don't have to go to Amazon and buy this stuff. Uh, but there is one that you probably are not going to be able to get for free, you might not be able to find, is ATTP 3-37.2, which is the Anti-Terrorism Handbook. Now, why would you want to have that? Well, we already discussed Red Cell is going to be called terrorist. That's what you're going to be called. doesn't matter that you're a patriot. doesn't matter that you want an original constitution. Like, let's go back to the constitution because that's something that we can all abide by, right? Something that we can all stand or at least go to a base level of. Because you want that, because you're an American patriot, the, the, the news, white cell, the propaganda has already said that, hey, guess what? The patriot movement, patriots, being a patriot, that's a bad thing. Being a patriot is a dirty word. You're not allowed to be a patriot anymore. You have to be a social communist, right? And if you can't do that, 
then we're going to find a way to put you in prison or kill you. Okay, man, whatever. I don't care. Uh, all right. So let's, let's get back to, let's get back to the channel stuff. All right. So some glossary definitions that I want you guys to go ahead and look over. Strategy, a plan of action or policy designed to achieve a major overall aim, right? Uh, okay, cool. Whatever. That doesn't tell you anything about military whatever, right? And we will, we'll go over, uh, red cell strategy because there are things that you need, things that you need in order to continuously perform tactics, right? So what is a tactic? Let's, let's do Google, stupid Google real quick. An action carefully planned to achieve a specific end, right? Employment in ordered arrangement of forces in relation, in relation to each other. That is the FM 102.2. That means absolutely nothing, right? Uh, and then if you say small unit tactics, the art of using platoons and squads to conduct warfare. Okay, cool. You know, we're getting close to it. Uh, but the, the main, thing that I want to get to is what what really are small unit tactics and one of my NCOs long time ago I think he had a pretty spot on definition of this and that was the orchestration of men and weapons to conduct controlled extreme violence against designated enemies right so we don't want to just be terrorists right we don't want to be the Taliban we're not just trying to we're not just trying to end random people's lives. It doesn't make any sense. You're not going to reach an end goal by killing Karen down the street, right? We went over Karen. She's part of Green Force. Why are you killing Karen? It doesn't matter if she's left, right, middle, and different, right? It doesn't matter if she's on your side or not. There's no reason to kill her. Let her live. We want to keep as many people alive as possible. There's absolutely no reason to play right into, you know, the, the WEF who wants like 500 million people or something crazy small on the planet. There's 7 billion people. So how are you going to get rid of them? I, I don't know. Probably by killing them, right? That's not something that we want. We don't want to just be randomly killing civilians for absolutely no reason. There's no reason to do that, right? So that's not what Red Cell is going to do. But I will tell you that the two major operations that a Red Cell would conduct that a red cell would conduct are an ambush. An ambush is an attack by fire or other of destructive means from a concealed position on a moving or temporarily halted enemy, right? So ambush, that's something that we're going to teach. It's something we're going to learn. Uh, it's really a gorilla's bread and butter, right? It really is. It's just a gorilla's bread and butter to do that. The other thing that we're going to learn uh, is a raid, and this is why I said you have to have both the ADP and the FM for 1-02 or the FM 1-02.2 because they removed the definition of RAID from the FM. It's still in the ADP. So go to ADP 1-02. An operation to temporarily seize an area in order to secure, confuse an adversary, capture or kill personnel or equipment or destroy a capability culminating in a planned withdrawal. That planned withdrawal is the vastly important part. Not only are we getting in, they said this bear suit, man, I love this bear suit, it's cold. Uh, we're getting in, we're doing whatever it is we feel we need to do, right? And in his red cell, trying to remove an overreaching government, Right, because this this is something that's probably going to have to happen in a lot of different nations. Right, protesting just isn't cutting it. Right, a lot of different nations, and we we feel the need to do this. Right, like hypothetically speaking, we feel the need to do these two different things: ambush and raid. Right, we just need to have a a perfect in state of what is this ambush going to fix? What is this raid going to fix? Because there's there's honestly no reason to just go out and do an attack by fire. You can, right? But but let's make it count, right? An ambush is still an attack by fire or or other destruction, right? 
you're just trying to fix an enemy, destroy that enemy, or fix a piece of equipment and destroy that piece of equipment very, very quickly and then leave, right? So we're going to get into those things. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that that's kind of it for today. Sorry, you guys didn't really get a great video this weekend. And I know, I know the PowerPoints are super boring, but unless you guys really want to see my hands moving tiny green army guys, like uh, the Little Green Men series from Southern Prepper, which, uh, you know, I'll probably end up doing that. I'm a very visual person and tactile person. So moving little tiny green guys or little tiny red guys around on a fake battlefield. Let's, uh, let's try that, you know? Um, but yeah, for first let's, you know, get through that ideology. I, like I said, anarchy is not necessarily super violent. It just means that there's no leaders, but I'm totally cool and willing to submit to a limited constitutional Republic, which is what the U S used to have. I just don't need anybody else in charge of me. It doesn't make any sense. Not, not to me. All right. Uh, that's all I got for you guys. Intro intervention.